Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim with Pitsco Education, and we've been talking about uh, a, one of the exciting features of our new Prime and Max systems. That's the Tetrix Prime and Tetrix Max. And that's the way that they go together. And uh, we've already talked about structurally how that they can be bolted up together. But we want to talk a little bit about motors and how they can be integrated between the two because uh, we've got some really new uh, um, uh, possibilities with the two. Uh, we can bolt up the uh, Tetrix Max motors, you can see, directly to a prime beam so that we've got the ability to use the 12 volt DC motors with the prime elements. And you can see I've got that new uh, um, multi-feature mount that we made for the Max that I've got bolted through. And we can bolt that up a couple different ways. Uh, so you can see it bolts right to the prime beams. And then the other side of that is that we can use the uh, prime, Tetrix Prime servos on the Tetrix Max channels. And one of the advantages of doing this is that uh, with this servo mount that we made for the, the uh, Tetrix Prime, what we do is we, when we bolt through a channel or bolt either Prime or the Max, if you can see this, we actually re remove and relieve any side load that potentially would be on that servo. So that protects the servo, allows for a little stronger operation, and you can see that uh, it bolts right up, either with the uh, plates or the channel beams. So you can see that's a, a quick and easy way to see how the motors, the uh, DC 12 volt DC motors from Max or the uh, six volt servos from Prime will actually integrate between the two construction systems. So uh, we hope that gives you some ideas and tips on uh, how to use the two together. And thanks for joining us and come back and uh, see us again.